And hello once again, everyone. I'm Scott Welsh, and this is where we get together to talk about different trading systems that can beat the market. Today, we're going to talk about Forex once again. I have a ton of experience considering that's been my main trading vehicle since 2009. So we're going to talk about trading pullbacks on foreign currency. Let's get right to it. Three things today. Why pullbacks? Why pick that way? Why not do breakouts? Breakouts seem to work, but we'll talk about that. And once we do talk about pullbacks, well, does that really work in Forex? It seems to make sense in some other vehicles, some other instruments. So why think about it in Forex? And then, of course, as always, we're going to give the exact entry method that we're talking about in the system of the week. Of course, you get the system of the week via email. That's where you get all the settings. And in the video, that's where we get all the pictures. Okay. Here's your disclaimer. Remember that uh, I'm going to show you a bunch of systems every single week for the next 862,000 weeks, um, but they're all hypothetical. Uh, do not risk money and all that stuff, right? So I got to put that disclaimer out there. Uh, I'm going to give you the best information I can, but keep in mind that it is hypothetical. These aren't from live trades. Got it? All right. Happy Wednesday, everybody. You know by now. It's our third weekend that emails and videos come out together. There's a newsletter that comes out, it gives all the settings, and then there's a video that accompanies it, and that is this. So they come out on Wednesday together. Welcome back once again. Let's talk about pullbacks. Do you love pullbacks when you trade? Do you get kind of freaked out when it gets to a breakout zone? Doesn't it seem like when it breaks out, it always hesitates and goes back the other way? Doesn't it seem logical? Have you ever been a discretionary trader? Because I have, I think we all have, and it does seem that way, at least to me. Of course, our brains are all jacked up because we remember the things we're not supposed to remember. But I personally love pullbacks. Don't know about you. Why do I love pullbacks? A couple reasons. Number one, it feels great to get a better price. If we think something is going long, going up, 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 why spend the most for it when it's breaking out when I can wait and be patient and be a smart consumer and buy it on a pullback? Okay. If we're definitely in a trend, if we know how to identify a trend, if we know that Apple is going to the moon, why not wait for a pullback? Why pay top dollar, right? That feels great. Feels great to get a deal at the store. Feels great to get a deal in the market. Plus, you get tighter stop losses, right? If you're the type of trader that places your loss at their most recent low, well, obviously, if you're going at a breakout at, for your entry, that low is way, way back here. If you wait for a pullback, well, that pullback is the recent low. Aha! so you can have tighter stops. Plus, there is some research that says pullback trading is profitable. That's probably the most important reason, but we're talking about the mechanics and the emotions of it. Feels great and tighter stops. Those are two great reasons. Okay, well, why not breakouts? Pullbacks are so great, right? I understand that. They're great. They're awesome, but um, breakouts have been around forever. There's been tons of research. I've done I've done a whole course on breakout trading. Breakout trading is the most researched form of trading that's ever existed. So why not? Why worry about getting a better price? Just get in, right? Furthermore, if we wait for a pullback and there is no pullback, what do we do about that? Miss a huge winner? That seems dumb. Well, anyway. Let's see if pullbacks work. Before we start saying breakouts are the way, let's do the goal of this particular webinar and see if it works, right? Let's go for that soothing value price. Oh, I love it when it drifts down to my level. And I want to see if it works on FX. That's why we're here. Okay, what does it mean to trade pullbacks? Well, we've kind of already talked about it. Pullbacks give us a better, quote unquote, better entry. It gives us a better chance to have a stop loss at a recent low. It, if we don't have our stops there, even if our stop is numerical, it has a chance to give us better stops, which means less drawdown. If we know where something is going, it makes 100% sense to trade on pullbacks. Philosophically, why buy at the top when you can get a better price, right? We're also going to go long only. Why? 
Well, I like to get paid to trade. Isn't that nice, right? Don't we all? And in the Forex market, there's such a thing as called rollover credit or carry trade, which means there are some currency pairs where if you're in it and you hold it, the difference in the interest rate between the two things you're trading puts money into your trading account. For example, if you trade the dollar yen over time by holding it, you're going to get little credits to your account. Sometimes it's a lot of money, sometimes it's not. Of course, the spread varies and how much you get paid varies depending on the relationship of interest rates. But I picked long only for that reason, okay? There are other reasons, but I'm picking it for that reason. I wanna get paid to be in these trades. That feels awesome. And of course, it's more money, okay? So we're gonna go over the entry and the performance report on trading a pullback on Forex. Now, let's talk about the exact entry. We are doing dollar yen only. If you're a member of the newsletter, you'll get two more currency pairs this week. But today we're just talking about the dollar yen. Okay. Our pullback is coming on a stochastic. Okay. I'm going to write that in right now because I just realized huh, maybe you don't know what I'm talking about. We want price to drift down below. The slow stochastic oversold. OS means oversold. So we want it to go down to oversold and close there. Then we want the stochastic to trigger upward. So we want the fast line to cross the slow line while they're both in oversold. That's the point. We want it to be down there and cross while it's down there. That means that we're in a pullback, but we're moving back out. At least that's what we think. For this particular trading system, we're gonna exit on either a profit target or a stop loss. That is what we're using. Now, this video and the emails are gonna give you a system that you could potentially trade if you research it and like it, but it's also to get you started. I wanna spark the idea and you can make it better if you want to. And possible ways to do that are a time exit. Maybe after 30 days, that's enough. This trade's either going to work or it isn't, or a trailing stop. If you look at this series of trades on this system, you'll see that price goes into profit and then drifts back the other way and doesn't always end in profit. That might be something you could fix. You could use another indicator to get your exit. Or if you have another favorite exit, maybe based on price action or something else, then you could add that in. But I'm trying to give you something worthwhile that doesn't need that extra tweaking, but by all means, do the extra tweaking. Okay, here's a picture first, okay? I don't know why I show you a picture on my slide and then I go to the chart, because eh, it's good to do both. All right, here's an entry. Now the cyan is a positive trade. Of course, I have this coded into a robot and the red is a negative trade. You can see the blue arrow, arrows are when we actually enter. Okay, we need a pullback. Clearly, we're in a pullback, right? Whoa, that's a big pullback, a couple of pullbacks. But for this one, price is going a little bit sideways and then it, boom, it drops down. I like saying boom. Price goes down into oversold. You can see this is overbought, this line here, and this is oversold here on the stochastic indicator. And, I, and it is the slow stochastic if your platform differentiates. So it goes down, down, and then you can see the fast line, blue line crosses above the red, indicating price is gonna go back up. Once it does and it closes, we enter at the open of the next bar. Price goes down, fast line crosses and closes. We go open of the next bar and then we ride it to our profit target. Or as you can see here, price retraces down, fast line crosses, open of the next bar and it hits our stop loss, okay? That's what it is on the screen. Let's go to the chart. Let me squeeze it down so you can see, all right. Let's squeeze it down so you can see. Let's squeeze it down so you can see. Okay, and let's squeeze it down. I'm tired of saying that. All right, here it is on a more of a live chart. This is from 2018, March-ish. You can see price retreats down into oversold. Blue line crosses above, and we're in at the open of the next bar. And again, we get it out at our profit target. What is the profit target? Of course, that's what's in the email. 
What is the stop loss? Of course, that's in the email. I have the words and the writing in the emails and the pictures in the video. That seems to make sense. Tell me if it doesn't, all right? There is the entry. Pretty easy, right? And since we're only going long, that's all you have to worry about is going into oversold, 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 and then getting your entry and then put your profit target in, your stop loss in, and you are done. Pretty darn easy way to trade. If I say so myself, let's take a look at the performance report and we'll squeeze that down into your viewing, okay? And as I mentioned, profit over time. How much time? Since 1995, although it didn't start taking trades till 1999-ish, um, 63,000, only a $10,000 max drawdown. Pretty fantastic. Um, that's a very nice profit to drawdown ratio. You can see the net profit as a percentage of drawdown, 587%. Pretty awesome. How much you would have made if your drawdown comes first, right? Pretty awesome. Good profit factor. Now, percent profitable is not quite 50%. You can see the average winning trade is bigger than the average losing trade. And so that's that positive risk to reward that we like. We don't always need it, of course, <clears throat> but we do like it. OK, now something interesting that you get for trading this way is that you get a little bit of that carryover. You get a little bit of that rollover credit. And you can see that right here, the rollover credit, hypothetically, is you would make over the time you would have two thousand nine hundred forty three dollars deposited into your account for holding this particular currency pair in this particular direction so you take this win and you might be able to add a little bit more on top of that which is why we're only going long for the system got it pretty cool all right here is that performance report once again there's your profit there's your loss um, and all the other stuff we've already talked about. So what's the bottom line? Well, the bottom line is get on the darn email list, right? So you can have the writing and the pictures. That's what you want, and it's free. But bottom line, as far as the system is, it appears pullbacks are profitable on Forex, assuming your pullback is gotten by a stochastics indicator. And of course, we're only going one direction. And could you say there's a slight upward bias to the dollar yen? Very slight, right? People, traders, institutions like to go long because of the reason we're talking about. You get paid to go long a little bit. So there is a slight upward bias, but buying and holding this, not probably a good idea. We can talk about that some other time. Uh, as I said, if you look at these trades, you might be able to find ways to get even more profit. But as it stands, those hypothetical numbers look pretty good. All right, if you're on the email list, you'll get two more examples, two more currency pairs with the settings for those also, right? One more thing, you can get on the newsletter email by going to scottwellstrategies.com, which is my brand new website, huh? You can kind of see it there. You go to contact me and you can fill it out. If you also go, oh, look at that picture of me. Oh, isn't that nice? Oh, what an awful picture of goofy looking person. But anyway, handsome. Anyway, um, go to the contact page, or if you're new to the site and you just go to scottwellstrategies.com, then um, you will see, see that, scottwellstrategies.com. You will, if you go there for the first time, there will be a little pop-up. I picked one specifically that's not annoying. Uh, it only pops up slowly and once every 30 days. So you can also get on the email list that way. But we've got all the blogs, You've got the podcasts I've done. You've got the trading blog. You've got my motivational blog. You've got the performance tracking for all the robots. You've got all my YouTube videos. Oh my gosh, the site has everything. Well, you said it, not me. All right. Anyway, go to the website, check it out. Spend a lot of time and money on that. Hopefully it makes your life better in some way. And there's the contact information if you need it. All right, everyone, that's all for this week. I will talk to you again next week. Bye for now.